hi. This is either um, a bad idea or a not so great idea. Either way, we're going for it. So, um, I'm at the gas station right now, just got gas. I'm trying to drive home, was visiting my grandma, and my drive ahead of me is about an hour. My options are to drive in the snow or go back to my grandma's house, and they, I probably should go back to my grandma's house. But I really wanna go, I wanna go home. Reasonable side of me is saying, you should turn around. Mm, you're done, go home. It's not safe, you're gonna die. But then the testosterone in me is saying that, don't let them tell you what to do. Chop a log, make a fire. That's what I'm dealing with. I really want to drive home. I miss my calves. It's been like a day. The highway is not good. The back roads seem to be promising. So I think that's going to be our best route. Um, I'm concerned. I'm going to assess the roads and then we'll be back. <laughs> so it's been five minutes. I've chosen violence. Oh, there's so much slush. Hi, I know you can't really see me, so at this point, it's basically a podcast, but who really cares? Um, cars are driving recklessly, and I've decided that even though I might be able to... Wait, wait a second. Even though I... Oh, that I'm breaking the law. Even though I might be able to control my car in such a difficult weather advisory, um, honestly, probably the best ally, um, can anybody else? So... I'm thinking that I might go back because it's it's getting scary and I'm regretting leaving I really wish I would have stayed but I'm also like far out to the point that it's getting kind of close to halfway and it's kind of like I might as well just keep going especially if the next town that I'm about to be in is a lot better so we, we have positive thoughts we have a positive outlook but we're doesn't mean we're not nervous So just a second ago, I noticed there was a rat running across the road, um, or a mouse, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, either way, it was loose. Um, and he ran across the road and even had the instinct to go home, so. Um, hibernating can wait. The family, he, he can file taxes next week. He decided that, that it just wasn't, it wasn't time. And I really should have, and I'm stressed. But you know, speed limit is 50 and we're going 10. And I think that's what's important, is we are moderating, we are, um, we are demonstrating good behavior. Um, the judge should let us early, out early for this. And I think talking at this point is the only thing that I, um, have that is not going to make me want to cry. Oh my gosh, will I make it up this hill? What about the other hills? Will I make it up those hills? Oh my gosh, I should have stayed home. We can't think like that, it's too late. We have to think positively. We have to keep going. And if a deer welcomes us, we will ride him all the way home. We don't need a car. Oh. What about that movie Spirit? That girl had a horse. Can horses run or can they, are they like just, can they like still crash? Can they like fall in the ice or like, do they have special hooves or something? Can you get insurance on a horse? And how much would PLPD be on a horse? Because that sounds really nice joking about getting a horse and I'm already skimping for the cheapest insurance. We, we love the frugal lifestyle. We like being cheap. Um, what is full coverage on a horse? Like, do you have to get pet in Would you get pet insurance or like car insurance? Or is there like a cool little hybrid of insurance? How does that work? I don't know. Regardless, I, I want, I need answers. Leave, leave a comment. Should there be a song about how I heroically decided to drive through the moderately terrible roads to my cats at 9.42 at night. Oh my gosh, it's not even that late. Oh, that's probably for the best. Should there be a love song? There should be a story. Taylor Swift wrote love story about us. Oh wait, no, she didn't write that song. Scooter Braun did. <laughs> my bad, not her property. Hi sisters, James Charles here. Um. So I just went down the steepest hill and it was really scary, but um, thankfully someone shoveled a path so one of my tires could grip the road. Um, we're doing good now. Um, I'm not gonna show you because um, it's really hard to record while doing this. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. Um, that's, that hill was, um, that incline, it was, oh my, 
There was one that even even schools refused to put in for their students. Um, but yeah, um, that was scary. Hoping that was the worst of it. Um, I looked at the clock and it says we have 42 minutes left. Start at 115. So I think that means halfway. If I do math right, 40 times two is 80 and 80 is not 115. So that means we, we did it, we're complete. Full ride, you get to go to Harvard. Community college, don't worry about it. It's on us, sweetie. We'll go to Red Robin to celebrate. We'll sing you that song. Honestly, that's the thing that I fear about, like big chain restaurants like Red Robin and Applebee's and Alta. You go there for your birthday and they're just like, oh, hey, so it's your birthday and we're gonna make it not as fun for you and we're gonna sing happy birthday. But we're gonna do it in an annoying way where everyone has to clap. We blow up, we like all, we all sing. We stop the restaurant and say embarrassing words. I went to a Texas, I went to like this place the other day and they stopped the whole restaurant and they're like, this is my friend, Phil. Everyone give him a, a good friend, the yeehaw. And everyone had to give him a yeehaw or, well, that was rude. You got slush in my car. At what cost? You caused me emotional pain. At what cost? Oh, there's a cute little lake over there. Let's not go into it. That would honestly be fun. Going into a lake. No, that would be like the worst. The worst of the worst. No, because my, it would like my, my car would crush into the lake. I'd have to crawl out, grab my phone if I can. And then I would, I would be like, hey, 911 baby, baby girl. Um, so can I like, can we get a ride? Can we go, can we go to Chili's? Is it my birthday? We just have lots of, lots of thoughts. We want it to be good. Oh, I love how you're like so close to my bumper. It's so cute. You're lucky these roads are a little bit better than the other ones. Otherwise I would not be living for it. I'd love for you to pass me though. Actually, please don't, sweetie. There's like a big snow barrier in between us and Thank you. Oh, they're gonna pass me. Honestly, go batty. Um, trucks can do that. They can just pass. Oh my gosh. His car is like the most stability. Okay, well, mentally, cars like top tier, like, Kid gets therapy, has no emotional problem, parents never split up, vowed to be together, signed a contract, like, have tattoos of their initials. That is, like, the living embodiment of, like, a Ford F-150. And then we have, like, the Teslas, like, the kids who, like, look like they got it together, but, like, underneath the hood, like, we know you don't take gas. Like, we know, we know, we know, you're electric, but, like, after when the power goes out, what, what are you? What? Like what ha what you used to get. Carly wants to hang out right now. I've got on the highway and I have a little update for you little tomatoes. I believe the worst of it is behind us now, but I will not rest until this story sees an end. The only problem that I'm facing is cars keep passing me and then they splash up water and it gets on my window and it gets very blurry very fast. Like, ma'am, I'm already wearing glasses that are broken. Oh, look, they're gonna pass me. Are they gonna do it? Oh, see this car is respectful, but they still got a teeny bit on my car. You know what I miss? Safe roads. I hate this state. I hate it so much. Like, how it was before, like, it's just so sloshy. And like, yeah, you can like, you can plow the roads and it'll be fine. It'll be okay-ish. But why is it even a thing? Why is snow real? Why, who decided we're gonna drive in snow with rubber and then you're gonna drive over it? Why can't we put, why can't we put chains on our tire? Why can't we be connected with magnets? Why can't this be like a, a railroad track? And we like know for sure this train will not derail. Actually, would that be more? No, cause car, cars are like the most dangerous thing to drive. Like tra cars are the most dangerous mode of transportation, which is kind of funny that everyone has a car and then there's car accidents every single day and everyone has a car. Like, why can't we all just walk places? Why can't we build societies and cities and towns and whatever in a way that people can just walk around? Like, Mackinac. Mackinac sounds great. Sounds great. But then, like, 
flooding. Like, what happens if it, like, rains too much? Does, like, the island just go underwater and everyone, like, goes to a hotel offshore? Like, what happens then? Do they all get in, like, a paddle boat and, like, go across, go across the lake and then back to, like, the rest of Michigan? What, how does that work? I have many questions. I mean, I don't think Mackinac's flooded before. Otherwise, everyone would know about it. I swear, if one more person passes me and gets water on my car, I'm going to be very angry. Well, um, let's talk about me. Let's talk about, we've talked about pretty much everything. Um, how am I today? Um, so earlier, I was going to go home at like 5 or 6, but now it's about 10. But all of a sudden, I just got this like really weird headache that came out of nowhere. And it like had me... It had me thinking I had, like, coronavirus. I looked up all the symptoms. I'm like, babe, I got it all. Like, I'm going to have to get a test tomorrow. I don't want to get a test. I've avoided... I've avoided getting, like, a COVID test all up to this point. I've been fine. But I do not want to get that big test where they, like, put it, like, all the way in your nose. But... I was fine. I literally went down the stairs, fell asleep in my grandma's bathroom, and we were good. And I was like, oh my gosh... I left my watermelon kids bubble bath bath body wash in her up house. I did not. There's no way. I'm gonna dangerously check while having one kneecap on the wheel. There's no way. There's no way I forgot it. There's no way. You are kidding me. Please, goodness, don't tell me. Oh my gosh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, so, oh my gosh, I don't have it. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to commit scooter ankle. Um, so if you don't, if you don't know what this is, it is basically, um, it is a watermelon scented bubble bath made for kids and it's shaped like a little watermelon. It's got this like pink little bottom and a pink little cap. It's very cute. If you don't have one and you're over the age of 20, you should definitely get one. Because it says it's for kids, but I don't care. Why could, Why do kids... Why do kids get to have bubble baths? I should be able to have a bubble bath. Um, so the point being is that... I left it at my grandmother's house. And I don't really know why I brought it with me, since she doesn't have a bathtub. She has, like, a stand-up shower thing. But if you stand on the drain, or just, like, sit on it with, like, your juicy rump then then it's fine because then it just fills up and it's kind of like a two inch bath like if that that's good enough to like submerge my hot wheels in it should be enough to submerge me in my bath but um it didn't really work i tried um do we do we think this is why i want to know back on the bath subject so there's like three in one like it's like body wash shampoo conditioner who decided they were going to do that because I'm pretty sure it's just like dish soap or something it's something it's something simple and it's great for like the simple man with all their testosterone being like we we can't like do three different bottles now nah, do one just put just put some degreaser in there and I can wash my pots at the same time you know soap is really weird like how do you how do you make soap it's like liquids because you can use like a little bit of lavender put it in there mix it with like water and do something else that makes it bubbly I don't know capture the breath of an octopus and then they put it in a bottle and sell it as men's three in one three in one scares me like not even a year ago I was using three in one because I honestly was just like raised using three in one my mom would be like here's three in one here's four in one like you pick your ratio and it's in a bottle and I guess that's just all I really knew and I remember like going by like soap aisle and be like there's a lot of soap in there but then one day I just walked in there I'm like oh my gosh there's a conditioner and a shampoo like they're not like together like that sounds so stupid but like everyone has that moment where they like realize something so dumb just because you're a human and you're not gonna know everything at once and that was just it was it was a day. It was a great day, honestly. Learning that conditioner and shampoo are not like... Like, there's not a comma between them because they're not... Learning that there's a comma between them because they're separate things. They're not just 
three different things in one. Um, but like, honestly, what I would do just for like a bath, like to to be able to take a bath in a sink, like imagine the water bill at the end of the month. Nothing. They owe you money. I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm just like rambling because the roads aren't bad and I don't have a way to like project and like say how I'm feeling. But this has been a really good like therapy moment for me. And whether or not anyone even listens to this is literally this whole thing is just giving me like middle child syndrome. Oh my gosh, the roads are just dry now. How did we go? We literally went from slush to dry roads. Anyways, um, thank you for tuning in. Okay, that's that's it. I'll 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 leave you alone now. Um, until next time. Um, goodbye, BB.